Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on 9th of May 2022 and there is a number of very interesting news. We start off with the Glengoyne Legacy series and out is chapter number three and this will be the last of the bottlings from this series as the Legacy series is now finished. Um, it has 48% ABV and was in honor of Sir Arthur John Tedder. Um, that was an excise duty man from the distillery. Uh, yeah. Then we have the worldwide biggest Macallan bottle that is being auctioned. It's maybe not the most expensive, maybe also will be the most expensive, we might not know. And it is the one that is... Um, uh, 5 feet 11, which is about 1 meter 80, which is well, a bit smaller than I am, just a bit, about 4 inches smaller than I am, or 10 centimeters, and it fills about 444 normal 0.7 bottles and has a volume of 311 Leaders comes from the year 1989, and they are thinking about um, getting about uh, 1.5 million euros of yeah, value sold off in the auction. So they want to get a 1.5 million pound. So that's a bit more in euros and dollars as the pound is a bit stronger. Then we have the Glasgow distillery. They're changing to the normal standard bottle of 0.7. They used to bottle at 0.5 and now they're bottling at 0.7, which I think is a good move. Usually you start off with smaller bottles so people can get to know your distillery. And as people like your distillery then and you have regular customers, then you can size up to the normal bottles as yeah, they are more efficient and yeah, yeah, better. I would say in many ways. Then we have Diageo and they are bringing out two new limited edition, the Lagavulin and Karl Illa Face Ale 2022. Lagavulin 12 year with 57.7% ABV, uh, 6,336 bottles. Then we have the Karl Illa 15 years of age, 55.2% ABV and 3,702 bottles is the limited number. Um, unfortunately, only at the distillery. Yeah, phase L at the distillery. So it's a distillery bottling. Then we have another phase ale, and this is from Bona Heaven. They are bringing three out for 2022. It's uh, Bona Heaven Abrank Arreik, I don't know, 50.8% ABV without age statement. Then we have a 1998 Calvados cask finish, 49.7% ABV, and a 2004 Moin Twike. Tokai finish 52.5% ABV and as they are face ale distiller uh, bottlings, uh, yeah, they are uh, for at the distillery. So you might as well get to Isla. There are uh, quite a number of interesting bottlings out there. Then we have a retirement. Bobby Anderson, manager of the Spayburn Distillery, is now retiring. He was 22 years of in service at the distillery, so he has done his duty. Thank you very much for everything and yeah, best wishes for your retirement. And then we have Glen Scotia. They're bringing out their oldest whiskey yet. 46 a years of age, an old single malt. It was matured in first filled bourbon and then filled into Oloroso sherry cask for a very long finish. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> then we have um, Tam Du bringing out two new cask strength bottling for their 125th anniversary coming up. Um, it will only be a thousand bottles um, from Tamdu Dalbelli uh, and Tamdu 18 years old cask strength. Both both not colored, not chill filtered. Um, also available at the distillery. Then we have news from Jack Daniels, and they are bringing out two bottlings. Um, the first one is the Jack da Jack Daniels bottled and uh, bonded. Tennessee whiskey and mash bill, 80% corn, 12% malted barley, 8% rye. And 
yeah, this is in the bonded series from them and they are, they're not limited, but they are constant supply there. Then we have the other one is the Jack Daniels Triple Mash Blended Straight Whiskey. Yeah, so that is quite a name <laughs> and that means tri triple mash. So we have three, three different whiskeys actually, in fact, because they're straight and you have three three straight bottled in bond whiskies 60 percent uh jack daniels rye whiskey we know that and then we have 20 percent normal jack daniels whiskey and then we have 20 percent jack daniels american malt i don't think that's out there on the market at least not in europe maybe it's out there in the united states and yeah it's american malt interesting to to hear, hear that yeah and the last one is the news in the international market we have the St. Kilian distillers uh, presenting a new kind of a new cool bottle and that's called the Blind and the Blonde and is uh, an homage to uh, a road movie called They Called Him Spencer. At least that's what I'm translating here. I'm not quite sure. I think that will be also again very famous in Germany, even though I don't know it. <laughs> and uh, it's The Blind and the Blonde. It's actually uh, written in Braille. The, the um, writings for the blind people on their label or uh, and this is for the EU this is very this ha hasn't been done yet it's limited to 2000 bottles 47 percent ABV natural color unchill filtered and maybe we will have that in the cask over the next month yeah so that was it for this week and I will be out over the next two weeks unfortunately not on a distillery tour but I will hopefully can be able to do the whiskey.com news if I'm not then yeah you have to excuse myself I will have to have some free time as well at some point in my life yeah thank you very much and see you next time